Uh, hello, everyone. Sorry, this video is a little late. I forgot I hadn't done something for this week's reading, which is Wittgenstein's lecture on ethics. Very, very famous, important lecture that the philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein gave in 1929 about ethics. Uh, this is, you know, uh, first of all, let me say, okay, this is, a, you know, maybe a little challenging reading. It's a little longer. Um, and approaching it on your own may be a little bit difficult, so I will definitely take that into account when I grade your, uh, your weekly assignment this week. Um, but that being said, uh, you know, there's a definite uh, thing that uh, Wittgenstein is trying to put over here about ethics, definite conclusion that, he, that he's trying to argue for. And there is, there is an argument for it. There are maybe more than one argument in support of this idea about ethics. Uh, one of the things that I try to do in these initial videos is try to be uh, unspecific because the work of this class is really to read something in philosophy that's argumentative, to think about it, to try to figure out what it is uh, that the author is trying to get over, trying to put over, trying to, trying to establish, and then think about the arguments that uh, the author is uh, the reasons that the author is uh, is offering in support of that conclusion, that claim. And then, of course, to think about whether those reasons really do support the claim. That's the weekly assignment every week, and this is no different. Uh, but it may be somewhat puzzling, Wittgenstein's approach to, to this, what he's trying to prove here, uh, can get pretty wild, you know. Um, Talking about wondering at the existence of the world, talking about a, if a, if there were a book that contained uh, all the moral truths, it would explode or something. I mean, you know, it's just he, he's very, very imaginative, you know, brilliant writer as well as being a great philosopher. So let me just give you a clue. I mean, at least in my reading um, of Wittgenstein's lecture on ethics, something to keep in mind. He is saying something about ethics. Uh, ethics being the study of, as he says, what is right and wrong, uh, how we should live. Uh, what does he say here? For, instead of ethics is the inquiry into what is good, ethics is the inquiry into what is valuable, what is really important, uh, the meaning of life, what makes life worth living, the right way of living. He, he says all those are kind of interchangeable. Ethics, as opposed to you know just studying reality as it is, ethics is about. Uh, trying to figure out how we should be in that sense. Right? So uh, what is he trying to get over? I'll give you a clue. There's, forget about ethics. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really giving anything away. If you read, you'll definitely get that. Uh, now, he may not say that quite as explicitly as, I, as I've said it, but ethics is nonsense. Because trying to because to do ethics, we need to make ethical claims. You know, uh, if if I say that Jim is a good baseball player, uh, that is not nonsense because I can back it up. Jim Jim hits uh, the ball very well. Uh, he's a three hundred hitter, and he hits a lot of home runs, and he's a good fielder. Uh, those are all reasons for very you know good reasons for saying for supporting the idea that he's a good baseball player. But uh, if I say that Jim is simply good, uh, then it's problematic, right? Because that using good in a moral sense is different from the relative sense. How do you back something like that up? If I say that uh, you shouldn't do that, and you ask me why, I say, well, because you know, you'll hurt yourself. That's good reason. Uh, if I say you shouldn't do that, and you ask me why, and I say because it's morally wrong, then we're into some problematics. So it, it's a it's a winding road, believe me. I if you read it, uh, sort of how he gets that point across and and how he supports that point. Don't get me wrong, but the general let me just say that the general thrust of his essay is that ethics or morality, which he considers to be the same thing, is nonsense. Uh, because the language that we use, um, you know, that our attempt to make ethical or moral statements just for the reasons that he gives just falls apart. Um, 
so he's he's not giving you any moral advice on how do you live your life. He's not saying, well, ethics is nonsense, so just do whatever you want. He's not saying that at all. He's really talking to philosophers and saying the attempt to make ethics some kind of rational study, moral philosophy, let's say, is completely doomed. So as you read it, I mean, I, that's just my reading of it. Uh, but I think that that might be something helpful to keep in mind, because if he is in a general way, and, and look for the specific things that he says, don't rely on the way that I word it. Don't rely on the way that I word it. But if he is generally going in that direction, then the question is, you know, how how is he getting there? And he himself says that, you know, like, um, it's been very influential on me, is, is that when we read something like this, we ask ourselves one of two questions. Well, one is, um, I, I see what he's doing, but where, what the heck is he getting at? And, but, and the other question is, well, I see what he wants to get at, but how the heck is he going to get there? That's very, you know, in terms of how we read things, uh, in terms of like arguments versus conclusions, it's been very influential on me. So I would say I'm giving you a hint about where he's going with this, which is generally a, a very broad conclusion that dismisses the possibility of something like a philosophical ethics or a something like moral philosophy. But do your best on it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. And again, I will keep in mind that it's a, you know, it's a complex text. 